here at Aerospace Bristol in Bristol for the British Interplanetary Society's Reinventing Space Conference and it's given me this wonderful opportunity to check out this which is Concorde or at least the last Concorde to fly. Now it's given me the opportunity to follow up on a particular legend of Concorde which is the story of the flight engineer's hat. Now Concorde being a supersonic aircraft there was a a massive heating of the airframe. In fact, the maximum speed of the aircraft was determined by how hot aluminium can get and still remain a good structural material. And what that meant was that the aircraft would actually grow in length. And that means the cabin, remaining at an acceptable temperature for the humans inside, would not expand as much and you would actually have some expansion gaps inside the aircraft. Now the story goes that on the last flight of each of the British Airways Concords, the flight engineers, the last time the aircraft went supersonic, placed their hat into one of these gaps. It was in, actually into the gap between the engineering console and the bulkhead. And apparently you could get your fist in there when it was flying supersonic. Now when the aircraft cooled down and slowed down to come into land, then the gap would contract and that's what happened on these last flights. The hats became wedged in these gaps, never to be removed again because the aircraft would never again fly supersonic. Now it's a wonderful story but when I had a look around this Concorde I couldn't actually find the hat and it took a bit of a hunt to find out what happened to it. It turned out that this aircraft was parked outside for several years after it was retired and somehow during that time the hat came loose. Now I've heard various stories but I'm not sure which one I believe. All I know for certain is that the hat was definitely loose in the cockpit when the museum took possession of Concorde in 2017. And of course they preserved it. So if you want to see it, it is here. It is behind glass in one of the display cabinets. I think I prefer the legend but either way it's a wonderful illustration of how engineering can overcome problems such as thermal expansion. Anyway, it's been an absolutely wonderful opportunity to have a look around this stunning aeroplane. And if you're ever in Bristol, then I do recommend you come by and take a look. You can walk around inside the aircraft, see the flight deck, and they've got a lot of very interesting Concorde-related artefacts on display here. So definitely worth a visit. See you in the next video.